Good morning. Today we are here at Walmart. We're going to go and check out some of the grocery prices. Jess is going to kind of split off. We got our niece's birthday this week. We got to find her some toys. Well, I don't know. How old is she going to be? 13. 13, 14. 13. 13. Jeez. I can't believe it, guys. Boy, seems like just yesterday she was a little baby. But I don't know. She's into a lot of cool things these days, so we're going to try and find some cool things for her. But like I said, we're going to split off a little bit. Just going to do some shopping. Obviously, I can't show any of that stuff. Uh, I don't know if she watches our videos anyway. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's an exciting day. We're going to do a little bit of birthday shopping. But I'm going to check out some of these prices and see how Walmart's doing. We've gotten uh, some comments that some of the things have gone up at Walmart. So we're going to check it out, see if they have gone up here. We will see what happens. Should be a good day. Let's get to it. Okay, so since we come into Walmart here, I notice they have their personal watermelons for $4.98, but they've got better looking watermelons here that are full size for $4.67. It says it's a rollback offer, $8.98 is the regular price. We've been seeing corn on the cob pretty much go up everywhere. They are 50 cents a piece here at Walmart. Um, we sell them at Meyer for 59 cents a piece, and they're at Kroger for 50 cents a piece right now too. So. Right about the same price everywhere. I've never seen an item jump up 10 cents and drop 10 cents so much in my life, but they have these Fife's pineapples here, 228 again. They drop down to 218, back up to 228. Peaches are $2.37 a pound right now at Walmart, but I gotta say they don't look so great. Peaches just really haven't been that great this year. Uh, and they have plums and nectarines for $2.47 a pound. Pretty much everywhere, these have been $2.99 a pound. We did see it Kroger. This week they were $1.99 a pound. So take that as you will. I do see they have these big oranges here for 88 cents each. 88 cents each, that's not too bad. And these don't look bad. We've been seeing a lot of cantaloupes go for under $3 lately. $2.99 is pretty much the price everywhere. $3.28 here at Walmart. Who would have thunk it? Most expensive place right now is Walmart for cantaloupe. And checking out some of the onions here. Uh, some of these three pound bags, guys, I'll tell you what, they're getting pricey here at Walmart. $3.54 for a three pound bag of red onions, but at least they have red onions. We're getting comments that uh, red onions kind of been in short supply around the country. They have these sweet uh, onions here, three pounds, $4.48. Good Lord. $3.54 for a three pound bag of white onions. I'm, I'm kind of stuttering here a little bit because making sure these are three pound bags because sometimes like they have these yellow onions right here. These are $2.98 for a three pound bag. Um, but they did have two pound bags before. So I wonder if they're just getting the three pound bags in now. Bag of garlic here. It says this is 20 ounces, almost $6, $5.88. Sheesh. We've gotten a couple complaints on mangoes lately and how bad they've tasted. I don't really know. Mango's not really my thing. Um, I, I like them. We just don't usually buy them much. They are 98 cents a piece here. We've been seeing them for $1.25 pretty much everywhere else, uh, unless they're on a sale. 98 cents is cheapest. I will say these are pretty small. Um, but yeah, we've been getting a lot of comments lately how bad they've been tasting. So keep that in mind. They have the three pound bag of mandarins, the halos, or this other one here. Um, $4.97 for three pounds. That is very expensive for Walmart. We saw where they're on sale at Kroger this week. Uh, if you can get there before Tuesday, um, $3.49. They were the cuties. Same thing, mandarins, you know, three pound bag for $3.49 is way better than $4.97. That's crazy for Walmart. Apple prices continue to skyrocket here at Walmart. These Gala apples they had on a a uh, what do you call it rollback offer for three dollars and fifty four cents uh, not that long ago four dollars and forty eight cents now though regular price at Walmart I mean I know like Kroger and Meyer have been going way up but we're seeing some of these Walmart prices get pretty ridiculous five eighty four for a three pound bag of Granny Smith apples jeez what is this three pound bag of Honeycrisp apples nine dollars and thirty two cents at Walmart? I'll tell you what, if you're looking at berries here at Walmart, so I'd be ready to pay through the roof. Some of this stuff, $3.43 for a thing of strawberries, 
456 for a pint of blueberries. I mean, we've been seeing these cheaper everywhere. Everywhere. They do have a rollback offer on the sweet cherries here, $2.48 a pound. So I guess, okay, so they were $5.77 a pound. That's funny because I don't ever remember that price. Um, and they do have uh, red grapes, which I got to say, these red grapes look pretty good compared to what we've seen. $1.48 a pound, much better price than what we've seen too. Green grapes are on a rollback for $1.68. There's that price. $3.28 a pound, guys. $3.28 a pound at Walmart. Regular price for grapes. That is absolutely insane, but $1.68 a pound on a rollback offer. Take advantage of it. Cabbage is up as well. Uh, this, these were $0.68 cents a pound not long ago. Now regular price, $0.82 cents a pound. Some of the bunches of greens here look like they are really going up in price. Man, this is crazy. I know it's been a little while since I've been to Walmart, but... Here's some collard greens for 98 cents a pound. Uh, we did see these recently go up at Kroger also. Uh, and they have their cauliflower here for $2.87. I gotta say these do look pretty good. Um, and that's roughly about the same price as it is everywhere unless we find a sale on it. Look at this corn. I mean, I gotta say, I mean, Walmart has it, but would you buy this? Look at this, I don't even know if I could really. Guys, this, this just looks terrible. I would, I, I love corn on the cob. I wouldn't buy this. So one thing I do like at Walmart is the organic market side, different lettuce and greens here. Like it because this kind of aerates through. It's not sealed off like with a bag. Uh, $2.98. We've been seeing a lot of things very similar go for $3.49 to $3.99. So here is a good deal. I like the baby arugula and baby spinach mix. It's really good. I like the spring mix too. That's really good. They are starting to get more of their like fancier cookies back in the market side here. These are actually pretty good. I don't see the white macadamia ones anywhere. Uh, they have these, but these aren't the same thing. This is the market side. These are much better, but they are expensive. I remember they were $3.98 not that long ago. They are bigger cookies, though. So somebody was saying that they have been having trouble finding some of the Gorton's Fish products. Um, we really haven't had this issue, but I, uh, we've gotten comments on this on the past. I noticed they did go up here at Walmart. They were $6.48. $6.98 now, but we've been seeing these go for well over $7, almost $8 in some other stores. So I don't know. Everything is going up, guys. Let me know if anybody's ever tried these air fried uh, butterfly shrimps or any of these air fried meals. Me and Jessica finally hooked up our air fryer, find, found a spot for it. So we're looking to try some new things here. I did want to point out that they have their Tyson chicken nuggets here on a rollback offer, $6.22. Um, regular price here was $6.98, so still an okay price at the regular price, but $6.22. I know a lot of people have been looking for chicken nuggets. That has been something that they've been kind of short on lately. They do have the bigger bags. Okay, so we've gotten a few comments over the last couple weeks that Walmart great value frozen vegetables have been hard to find. Looks like uh, our Walmart here has more than ever. <laughs> uh, ours was very low the last time I was here, and I could just, I'm not really sure, but... They are still getting bits, still 98 cents for the cheapest ones and still 88 cents for the mixed vegetables. So no price increases, but yeah, they're definitely getting in more here. Somebody was asking about the asparagus spears here. They do have them. These are like the cut spears, 2.97 a bag. That's only an eight ounce bag. Here we got bird's eye. They're starting to mix in a lot of bird's eye with great value for some weird reason. 3.67 uh, for those. Wanted to come back and check some of the egg prices here real quick. We have 12 count eggs, still $1.24. And then we have $1.54 for 18 count eggs. Uh, the extra large, $2.04. Looks like they're all about the same price as 60 count eggs, $5.92. Someone left a comment just south of us in Kentucky uh, where their 60 count eggs have been at $9 again. So I wanna make sure that ours are still saying the same price. Not sure if they're gonna be going up anytime soon, but if you find a deal on them, I'm going to buy up one or two. Do want to go over some of the butter here at Walmart. Some of the cheapest around now, $3.68 for a four pack of butter. We like great value Walmart or great value butter here. And then they have Land O'Lakes regular price, $4.98. We saw it on sale at Kroger for $4.98. Regular price there, $5.79. Tillamook, $5.28. And then probably the cheapest around for Kerry Gold. $4.18 here at Walmart, $5.49 at Kroger. 
So I wanted to check out some of the coffee prices here at Walmart and wanted to, looking at the tea here, boy, it's very low, very low. They usually have this well packed in. Maybe they just haven't gotten some orders in. Who knows? $3.34 for the regular size boxes of Bigelow tea here. Same price at Meyer. $4.29 now at Kroger. So Kroger has become unaffordable on a lot of cheaper teas. Uh, let's see. Even the, wow, boy, they are really out of a lot here. I did notice the Celestial Tees that uh, we always get comments on have went up here at Walmart as well. The last time we checked, they were $2.98 a box. Now $3.12 a box. Uh, $3.29 now at Kroger. So, or no, $3.19. So, looking at some of the coffee options. Uh, a lot of people want me to check out some of the coffee prices at Walmart. Um, some of the stuff you're going to kind of be disappointed. Some you might like. Uh, the Folgers here, uh, some of them. Like the Classic Roast, $7.98, but if you look at this, 24-pack, $13.26, that's actually not that bad, I guess. Uh, Tim Hortons here, 24-pack, $14.92. This Black Rifle Coffee, I was not a fan of this, and it is $15.97. $15.97 for 12 carat 12 cups. I mean, these prices are very comparable to Kroger when it comes to the store brand coffees. 48 count of the donut shop coffee here is pretty much the same as at Kroger. $14.92 here. I uh, believe it's still $14.99 at Kroger. That may have gone up. We'll have to check on that one. But here we got Duncan here. 22 pods for $16.88. What is going on here with this right here? Great value French roast. $3.10. What? Clearance? Holy cow, that's a good deal. Boy, there's some clearance items here. What is this? The Death Wish coffee? Nine dollars for this. I don't know what this is here. Blue and buried grind. Nine dollars for that. This is usually $17.48. That's a pretty good deal. They got the donut shop here. This is normally $12.42, $8.69. Wow. Well, you guys might want to get to Walmart for some coffee here. They got some different clear. I mean, this could be store specific, but. They got some uh, pretty good clearance deals going on. Different Folgers here. Uh, this is the, this is not the 25.9 ounce. This is 22.6 ounces, I was going to say. 9.98, you'll pay, uh, what is it, 11.49 at Kroger, but it's 25.9 ounces, so you're getting an extra like three ounces there. They have the half calf here, same size. Ugh, are these starting to shrink flake too? Pretty low on Maxwell House here, but they do have the 100% uh, Colombian. This is 24.5 ounces for $8.98, and then they have the giant size. Uh, was this 40 point? Hold on, I think it's 40 point something ounces. It is 42.5 ounces for $10.48. Pretty good deal. They still have the original coffee made here for $6.98. That has pretty much gone up to $7.49 everywhere I go. And then they have theirs here back in, which I haven't seen in a long time. These are $7.96. These things are huge. 60 ounces here. 60 ounces for $7.96. Sugar prices are still the same here at our Walmart. $3.12 for a four pound bag of great value sugars. One of the highest prices around as far as store brand. 10 pound bags, $6.88, a little bit of a better deal. $4.54 here for the four pound bags of Domino Sugar. One thing I did want to point out, they do have some uh, dark brown sugar, but this is light brown sugar. $1.97 of the great value. I don't see any dark brown, but they do have it in the Domino here, but it's a little more expensive, $3.12 for the dark brown and light brown sugars. Something that, you know, people were saying was missing. We saw that there was none at Kroger the other day, so something I wanted to check out here. Spices look like they've kind of taken a hit here at Walmart. Some of them have gone up in price. Some of them are still the same. We are noticing that a lot of the cheaper ones are starting to go up in different prices here. Some of the ones that used to be $1.12 are now $1.18. Even one here, the crushed red pepper is now $1.44. So some of these are definitely, wow, man, they're not getting a lot of these in. Geez, I mean, they're usually kind of low on these here at Walmart, but not this low. It's crazy. You can see they got some salt in. Somebody was asking about cans of pink salmon. 
uh, not being able to find it. They do have it here at Walmart. They got the Star Kiss and the Chicken of the Sea. Uh, looks like both of them are $4.22. This one is Chicken of the Sea. And, uh, okay, this one's $4.34. This one here is $4.22. So, and they do have the great value for not much less, $3.76. They have the four packs of great value tuna in water for $3.52, making them less than a dollar a can. Uh, and they have them out here for 96 cents, which you'll pay a little bit more. But if you don't want four cans, they do have them for 96 cents here. It's like we have a little bit of a rollback on albacore tuna here. Not much of one. $1.63 a can. Um, regular price was $1.82 a can. So, And we see albacore tuna by Starkist go for around $2 a can nowadays. So still an okay price. We had some people asking about the Keystone meats. Um, if you try to, so somebody was saying they were trying to order online, but the shipping cost was just way too much. Yes, if you order from them directly, it's going to cost a lot for shipping. I do like hearing that people are able to order it online again, though. I remember like a year, year and a half ago, they weren't even able to keep up with all the orders. But I wanted to point out, if you can order these on Walmart and work out some deal that you have with Walmart with shipping costs, this could be well worth it to you, um, as long as they have it available. Some people were saying they didn't have it available where they were, but I don't know, something looking into, at least they're getting it in here now. Uh, one of the cheapest places to get it is Walmart here. They do still have the four packs of the Great Value canned chunk chicken breast, $9.98. Uh, we're expecting these things to kind of go up in the future. They do have the two packs back in. They're $5.98, so you're going to pay $3 a can. You might as well get four of them, pay $2.50 a can moving on to canned goods so i have something i want to say about the great value canned goods here um let's give it a little shake here we know there's gonna be a lot of water in it but yeah it's not that bad though i mean it's not like compared to some like uh let's see let's try it well that's cream style i don't have the libby's regular here but oh yeah here we go also wait, listen to this listen to that Look at that. That's maybe that's why they're keeping the Libby's cost so down, so much down, 98 cents. More water in that than great value. And and we've had some great value canned vegetables lately. And I'll tell you what, they've been pretty delicious. Had the green beans and the corn. They were just fine. So over the last couple of weeks, we've gotten a couple comments on shortages of peanut butter, not involving Jif. Um, but look, and they do have the giant. Uh, peanut butter the great value here and those are $5.98 now so those have gone up they've been that for a little while but just looking to see what peanut oh here it is I knew I saw Skippy here somebody was saying they haven't been able to find Skippy uh, they do have it here two dollars and sixty two cents that's actually an okay price uh, somebody was saying I mentioned the uh, Peter Pan honey roasted peanut butter um, they got the big thing over here for five fifty seven, but somebody had mentioned the great value one that we should try this one. Now I have a big huge jar of the the other one, but I might try this later. Dollar eighty four for this too, and you were saying that it tastes just like it. Now one thing I wanted to cover here is some of the different jams and jellies because we have been getting comments that some of your WalMarts across the country have been low or out. We see where these are pulled forward, so they are low. And we have seen at our Walmart here where they've been out of a lot, uh, especially like grape jelly. So something we got to keep an eye on. They definitely have plenty of grape jelly here at ours, but we will keep an eye out as we continue to shop at Walmart. So do you think we can find any good uses out of these big giant cans of green beans? No. <laughs> Okay, so we had some questions on the channel. Somebody, one of our longtime viewers, was asking why we didn't like Hamburger Helper. Jess? Um, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> Put you on the tasty. spot. It wasn't, guys. Hamburger Helper has changed. We used to love Hamburger Helper. I'm very, very picky. And I think a lot of that's a lot of my reason. I don't, uh, like, I don't like it. Certain flavors. Way too much sodium. It just tasted really weird. It does. I don't, I don't and we've tried it a couple times. I feel like we did this one. We did we? that, yes. And that wasn't any good either. There was another know, one we I tried just, too that I think, not, but yeah, hamburger helper. Like it is cheaper to. here, dollar sixty six. Most of them are two two dollars a box now. And but, the seasoning is weird. Like I feel like, like for me, I think I would rather just grill up some or fry up some hamburger and yeah. then just mix it into regular mac and cheese. Right. Because I don't like the flavor packet that they put in there. Yeah. I think I think we actually talked weird. about that. Like it'd be better to use our Kraft macaroni and cheese and then just put hamburger in it. 
Absolutely. These suddenly salads too. Have we ever tried these? I don't think so. I think we have. Or I used I used to eat them a while back. I don't know. People people have been saying they like them. These are like twin packs here, three ninety four, making them two dollars a box, fifteen ounces. So you're getting seven and a half ounces per per pack, right? The ones you get at Dollar Tree, yeah, they're a dollar twenty five, but they're only three ounces. So um, if you just get one, it's going to be two dollars and forty four cents. So you might as well get the twin pack and save fifty cents, fifty cents a box. You want to try one of these? So if you're looking where to find cheap Progresso soup, look no further than Walmart. They don't have the selection like most stores, but $2.18 a can. These are $2.99 a can at Kroger, regular price. $2.79 a can, regular price of the Campbell's Chunky at Kroger. $2.26 regular price here. However, if you can get to Kroger's here within the next like couple days, they have these for $1.49 a can on the buy five or more, save a dollar each deal. No limits. Someone was saying they saw a shortage of ramen at their Walmart. Not too surprising. We saw this at ours around this time last year. However, they do have a lot of the different 12 packs in. They've got the shrimp down there, the beef, and the chicken. $3.68 for a 12 pack. Boy, I will say they are very much condensing this pasta aisle here at our Walmart at least. However, they do have a lot of their spaghetti still in. $0.98 cents a box. Uh, people asked us what we thought of great value spaghetti. But it's great it's just fine 98 cents a box I, I like it better than kroger spaghetti but kroger spaghetti is 79 cents this week on the digital coupon so make sure you check that out uh 98 cents though i don't know i'd almost rather just get this and have to spend the gas to go to another store if this was all i needed wanted to check out some of the prices of the canned tomato sauce here the great value is 88 cents a can pretty much the same price as every store brand uh, 44 cents for the little cans and then the hunts here 60 cents for the small cans dollar 24 for the regular size cans of tomato sauce dollar 34 at kroger so a little cheaper here but good to see they're getting them in i know they're uh talking about maybe another can tomato shortage here in the near future so keep your eyes out on it and if you need a nice filler to throw in your pantry uh we love the uh different nor pesticides. We, we try to find a deal on them and usually when we're at Walmart we'll buy up some because they're $1.39 pretty much everywhere else. $1.26 regular price. It's rare we see a sale on them anymore. We did see them four for five at Kroger a few weeks ago uh, but they sold out very quickly at our Kroger. We did see another Kroger they had them but we had already stocked up on some but $1.26 a pack regular price here. And if you're going to be at Walmart anyway and you like the dehydrated potatoes by Idahoan uh, they're $1.44 a pack here, pretty much $1.50 a pack everywhere else you go. So unless you find a sale on it, this is the cheapest regular price. Okay, so we're checking out some of the distilled white vinegar here at Walmart. I noticed it went up. One gallon jug of it here, $3.58. Now that was $3.28. $3.28. Let's check, make sure it's the 5% uh, here. Been a lot of things that have been coming in at 4% acidity so we want to make sure it says on there perfect for canning and cooking so this must be five percent five percent and the very tiny i need uh, a magnifying glass to see it there and notice they have duke's mayonnaise 30 ounces regular price here four dollars and 48 cents way cheaper than kroger six dollars and 49 cents at kroger all these are cheaper all of them 548 for the miracle whip 548 for Hellman's, same sizes. These are between six and seven dollars pretty much everywhere else you go. Did just notice that an unusual amount of the La Castagna, Castagna products are missing. I wonder if there was some kind of recall or something, I don't know, but I've never seen this much missing of these. So I wanted to make sure they're just getting in a lot of the different rice and dry bean options. They do have the five pound bag of Mahatma rice here. Jasmine rice, Mahatma jasmine rice, seven dollars and forty-eight cents. That is seven ninety-nine pretty much everywhere. So you're saving about fifty cents. Uh, but a lot of the big bags here of rice, they do have the long grain uh, white rice here by great value, and that is eleven dollars and fourteen cents. I had to move that out of the way there. Uh, Twenty pounds, eleven dollars and fourteen cents. That's a good deal. Got the five-pound bag there, three thirty-four ninety-two cents for just the one pound. If you're not needing that much. Um, but yes, we have been reading of some upcoming possible shortages of rice and dry beans. Big surprise. I feel like we're always, uh, you know, it's, it seems like once a year this happens. So uh, take that for what you will. But they, they, you know, 
prices keep going up here at Walmart too. You know, I mean, it's for two pounds of Great Northern beans, two dollars and fifty-two cents, dollar ninety-eight for one pound, two dollars and thirty-six cents for uh, the. I think this is only one pound here. Twenty ounces, so a little over a pound. Two dollars and thirty-six cents for the ham beans, uh, the Great Northern beans, and then they have the mix here, two dollars and thirty-six cents. For these the 15 bean soup right here two dollars and 72 cents and i feel like all of the bins original ready rice even though this is about the cheapest regular price there is anymore two dollars and 33 cents walmart does have a good variety of these things so if you're looking for a variety walmart might be the place to come meyer has a decent variety too hamburger continues to go up here at walmart they have the 80 20 10 pound package here for $34.22 and then they have the 73% lean over here $31.82 just a couple months ago this was $27.63 I've seen three people since I was standing over here buy this instead of this so I wonder if they think the same way I do like you know you don't like not being you don't like not being able to see the meat I will say though this don't look much better to be honest with you uh, 80 20 this is the 36 ounces 2.25 pounds eleven dollars and 83 cents does look like the rollback offer is over on a lot of these steaks too these ribeyes here these are they say choice cut on them but boy they don't look like the ones they sell at sam's club 13 dollars and 97 cents a pound too uh we did see sam's club went up back they're up to 13.48 a pound now so New York strip steaks here, $14.97 a pound. These two thin cut steaks here, $23.20. Here's a little bit of a smaller one here. This is the, uh, it says premium here, $14.97. Does that look premium to you? Oh, it does look, actually that does look pretty good. I don't know, but they've got these T-bones here. This is premium right here, $13.10, $12.97 a pound. But they, see, I, I don't know. They put premium on here, but... Again, I compare premium prices to what I find in like mom and pop shops and Costco and Sam's Club because I know that those are premium steaks and they do charge a premium price for it. So here's some of the cheaper stuff here. Even the cheapest of cheap. Look at this. Look at that. That looks terrible. $13.97 a pound. I wonder why they're not selling it. Would you ever buy steak from Walmart? Would you ever buy hamburger from Walmart? No, you would, okay. is the correct answer. I wouldn't. <laughs> now, I will say this. These frozen patties here, these frozen great value patties, we know where it's coming from. These are really good. 32 burgers, $26.87. They did have a rollback offer on them for a while, but I still feel like as much as these have gone up in price, this still is not a totally crazy deal here it is 75 percent lean so you're gonna get a little bit of a little bit of fat on them but that helps build the flavor i don't know these are really good i like these well that was our trip to walmart today you know produce steak prices they continue to go up at walmart they're going up everywhere but the one thing i think is crazy about walmart is that you would think a lot of these things would be much cheaper but it's not a lot of this stuff is going way up in price so you know and i know a lot of people really talk about not buying meat and produce at Walmart, but I do see a lot of people in the stores buying them. So they, they are getting bought up. That's probably part of the reason why the prices are still staying up. But for the most part, Walmart is still a good option for a lot of cheap options. I know a lot of people out there like the great value products. We like a lot of them too. Um, we did see a lot of things missing on the shelves today, but let me explain. Our Walmart is completely doing a huge overhaul on everything. When Jessica went back by the toys and all that stuff, a lot of the toys were gone. I think they're moving them to a different part of the store. Even a lot of the foods and stuff that we're missing, I think that they are rearranging and gonna be moving the food around as well. Uh, hopefully not shrinking the size of the food area and, and bringing in less because I know a lot of people uh, do some grocery shopping at that Walmart. So we'll just have to keep up on it, make sure they're getting stuff in. But for the most part, uh, still some okay deals to be had at Walmart, but 
do gotta watch the prices these days because sometimes you can find most of the time you know walmart doesn't have a lot of sales if it's not on a rollback offer it's always going to be that price that's why we always talk about buy up the sales as you see them because even some of the stores that you would think are the cheapest places aren't the cheapest places anymore but guys thank you so much for watching today also any good, awesome little recipes or anything you like to do in an air fryer, we got our air fryer out. We plan on giving that a good test run a couple different times this week. So let us know what some of your favorite air fried meals are. Guys, thank you so much for watching. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.